we are going through KCSE 2023 revision. This is a question on the periodic table. The question reads, distinguish between atomic number and mass number. Under the introduction part, we differentiated between mass number and the atomic number and we said that mass number is the sum is the sum a number of protons and the neutrons in an atom Whereas we said the atomic number, the atomic number on the other hand refers to the number of protons, is the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom. That is part A of that question already answered. Then part B, state three subatomic particles in an atom. We said atoms are made up of subatomic particles. Namely, we have protons. We have uh, electrons. Then we also have neutrons. These are the three subatomic particles that form an atom. We move down to question number two, which is still under the periodic table. The elements sodium, lithium, and potassium form an important family of elements. Name the family in which these elements belong. Remember, we have talked about four chemical families which is group one elements group two elements group seven and group eight but uh, these elements which is a lithium in atomic number three with an electron arrangement of one we have sodium which is a uh, two eight one in atomic number eleven and then potassium in atomic number 19 with 2881. You realize all these elements are found in group 1 of the periodic table since they all have one electron in the outermost energy level. All group 1 elements belong to a chemical family known as alkali metals next question they are telling us state and explain the trends with reference to the above family in properties down the group we have the atomic radius remember the atomic radius is the distance between the positive nucleus and the outermost energy level occupied by electrons if you look at what is happening down the group you realize the atomic radius increases. Atomic radius increases due to increase due to increase in number of occupied energy levels. Next question. Next question is uh, part uh, B Roman 2. We again look at the ionic radius. Remember, ionic radius will be obtained from the atomic radius once these elements lose electrons. Remember, we have lithium with a 
two one we have a uh, sodium with two eight one then potassium with two eight eight one and once they lose one electron they form lithium ion sodium ion and potassium ion respectively lithium ion has an ionic arrangement of two once it has lost one then sodium after losing one will have two eight then potassium after losing one it will have two eight eight and you realize the ionic radius equally increases down the group ionic radius ionic radius increases down the group due to again we can say increase in number of occupied energy levels remember there is an increase of one energy level as we move down the group then we have part C how does the unique radius and atomic radius of a given element in a family compare remember we have the atomic radius and the ionic radius and you can clearly see that the atomic radius is bigger than the ionic radius since these elements are reacting by losing electrons so we can say ionic radius is smaller than atomic radius reason we can say this is because once an element loses an electron the remaining electrons experience a greater nuclear pull and that is what makes the ion the ion to be smaller compared to the atom